Hey y'all, I got the key. I'm back. So I went to go get the key. I'm back. So I'm waiting on a couple of you guys to come back through before we get started on today's readings. I came back, guys. I got the key. What's up, y'all? Hey y'all. What's up, collective? I got my key. So I came back in to do a reading for you guys. Y'all already know if y'all was on my live earlier that I did a cardless energetic read. And we were talking about how a divine feminine or divine masculine um, is finally letting go of a karmic situation. You may have been crying. You have may have been going through a bunch of emotions. You may um, feel the release of the resentment um you did not want to let this person go but you you know you realizing that this person did not give you self-care self-love self-worth this person did not uh this person disregarded your feelings your emotions what's up ruby and you had to walk away from the situation along with that energetic read i mean that that particular message i did, did this morning it was a, a in card message with no cards it was also explaining that you was dealing with three different masculines. Not everybody's situation, but somebody's situation. Thank you guys for the likes and shares in the comments. Wow. My last crowd was more active than this. So you guys can't like, share, subscribe. Because I will end this live reading. Now, yeah, that way. I'm doing good this morning. How you doing? Because it's kind of funny, like, on my last live that I had people who was in tuning in and joining and liking and sharing and subscribing and responding. So if you feel like that this message is not for you, then I ask you to please exit this live. Please and thank you. These are for individuals who want to be, who want to learn, who want to know about their situation and how to heal from their situation. Good morning. I'm, oh, I hope you feel better, baby. Good morning, Miss Precious. I'm good. Um, ask her, uh, what's that? Ask her, I love 558. Thank you for coming in. So like I said, guys, thank you guys for the likes and shares and the comments for the individuals who have um, subscribed to the channel and the guys who have, who are participating. I appreciate you, y'all. Y'all already know this gang gang, Sarah gang around here. You know, we already, we represent the most high. And I'm talking about all <laughs> forms of spirituality, okay? Good morning. No, I don't do free yes or no questions, baby. Energy is not free. And I don't know whoever told you that. Yeah, I do collective energies for free. But when I pull on your ind individual reading, no, baby, that's not free. And whoever told you that, it, it, I don't know. I ain't even getting that. You know, spiritual work ain't nothing free about no damn spiritual work. <laughs> I'm just saying. What's up, Goddess Princess? <laughs> but when we do these collective readings, yes, they are free. But let me get back into it, though. Askari. Thank you so much. Thank you, Askari. I thank you. But like I said, in that last live reading that I did this morning without no cards, um, a particular feminine energy was crying um, because she had to release a karmic energy or karmic cycles. I feel like you're healing from that. Maybe you got a new love coming towards you. I'm not going to get into that reading. If you guys are interested and want to join that reading and want to leave and want to see what that discussion was about, then please come over to the Hard Knock Life of Tarot to see what that particular energy was about. Okay, guys? But with this, with this particular energy, we are doing card readings for individuals who do want their energy pulled, for individuals that want to heal, for individuals who need to know or need or want any clarity, uh, clarification, understanding, and understanding in their situations. I am taking donations. Seven cards for $10.10. Seven cards, ten dollars and ten cents. I will start off with a collective energy. If you resonate with these messages, then we will proceed with your individual reading. With that being said, let's get into these messages. Thank you guys for joining creativeilluminations.net. Like I said, that live other live reading was about a divine feminine or divine masculine. Take it as a resonate. Energies are interchangeable over here. That meaning masculine can be in feminine energy. Feminine can be in masculine energy. Energy. So get in where you fit in that. But like I was saying on that particular reading, just to give you guys a glimpse of what we were talking about, is that there are three individuals 
up to four individuals that want to come towards you and reconcile with you. This could be three masculines, three feminine energies. They are realizing that they was they thought they was being wise, but they was only knights that was in your life that thought that thought that they can control your life. They thought that they could um use you and will you whenever that they wanted to. I see that you guys had walked away. You had to end up this cycle. Period. So we're gonna get into this message. If y'all would like to know more about what that message was all about. Then go ahead over to Creative Illuminate, I mean, uh, to uh, The Hard Knock Life of Tarot to see what that message was about. So I'm proud of you guys. Whoever you are, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, whoever you are, who have cut off these situations. And if you have not cut off these karmic situations, then, baby, you need to go heal. Slow and easy wins the race. Because how are you going to show anybody your self-pride? your self-worth, your self-diligence, your self-assurance if you keep allowing yourself to be in karmic situations. If you continue, you could be a divine feminine but still allowing uh, karmic energies into your life. How are you going to heal? Yeah, I'm just getting started, Anna. How are you going to heal from past life traumas or help heal your masculine if you keep on accepting any um, um, unforeseen behavior that you know that's narcissistic? You guys, I feel like I'm talking to people who ain't cut their goddamn people off. Because this energy has switched. And I'm going to be all the way real. This energy has switched. It's not like the other live. It's not. And some of you guys need to let that energy go. I feel like I'm talking to individuals who have not let their ex go. And you sitting here like, oh, I wonder if he's coming back. I wonder. They are hard to heal. Yeah, they, but that's why you have to walk away. Because your duty is not to heal them. That's God's job. Your job is to walk away from people and places and things that no longer serve you. Who told you you're supposed to heal that person over there? See, what, what's wrong with some of y'all people's problems is y'all got things taking on assignments that ain't meant for you to heal. And that's why you're going through what you're going through. I feel this energy has totally shifted from the other one. This energy is a little bit more darker than the other one. So I'm going to give it to you raw and I'm going to give it to you rugged. Either you like it or you don't, it doesn't matter because I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm going to speak the truth. And I'm going to shame the motherfucking devil every time because you know we keep it all the way real over here. Gang, gang, Sarah, gang, let's go. Yeah, you already know, Teresa. So for any other individuals that feel like I done stepped on your toes, I'm sorry, baby, but I'm here to come and tell you the truth. Yeah, I held myself and no longer entertaining nobody but God. Exactly. Oh, and, that's, and that's who you're supposed to be entertaining. And entertaining... <laughs> Hell, God is God is with you every day, all day, every day. Period. Who guides you? Who talks to you? Yes, Mama, you're on your throne. I had to leave. I'm back, but I'm back. I know you already know, Adriana. Yeah, you had to leave. And once you take that power back, and can't nobody take it from you. Can't nobody take it from you. But I feel like I'm talking to divine feminines who ain't love. This energy to shift, and I'm and I ain't even put no cards out here yet. Yeah. But y'all out here dealing with these goddamn karmic masculines, uh, these the, these divine masculines that, that are actually these these are karmic masculines that act, that are divine masculines. But how the hell you gonna goddamn show him? Y'all know y'all women are the teachers. I'm just saying, we lead the way. We are the real leaders. I just have to break it down to you so eloquently. You supposed to be leading this masculine on how to become a leader? How you gonna lead this masculine when you can't be a leader yourself? Huh? You can't even lead yourself, so how are you going to lead your kids or any other body else when you can't even make the right decisions for yourself because you're stuck in lust? When you going to take that throne back, Divine Feminine? When you going to stop laying, like, living in lower extremity energies, Divine Feminine? When you going to let go of the ghosts, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? Hmm? And then they get mad when we uh, stick up for ourselves. Yeah. And they do. They do. But you guess what? I'm going to tell the truth and shame the devil every goddamn time. 33 Christ conscious here. 333 on the screen. Period. I'm not, I, don't, I don't expect to be liked by many people. Most people don't like the truth. They always want to kill the messenger or shut the messenger up. But what I'm going to do is continue to keep pushing that message. I am here to not raise, not raise or to help out any weak individual who does not want to heal and walk away from toxic situations period if you're that low vibrational energy and you're divine feminine then you need to reevaluate yourself 
You need to look at yourself in the mirror and ask the man, is this what you want? You need to ask yourself very truthfully. Do you deserve to be treated like shit? Do you deserve to be treated like a human toilet? Do you deserve to be treated like somebody's second piece a third piece? Because you, I love him and that's my twin flame and we need to make it work. No, you need to leave that shit alone and let God heal that person. Because your duty is not to heal him. Your duty is to heal your motherfucking self and then heal your tribe. What? Yeah, that way. Let's get into these messages. And that's the motherfucking truth. The truth is going to always be revealed. Yeah, you already know, Adriana, we're going to preach. Because I know... You got some divine feminists and you got the karmic feminists, you got the karmic masculines, all that bullshit. But my thing is, divine feminine, you gotta pray, you gotta take accountability too. Divine masculine, you gotta take accountability too. The fuck you mean you waiting for your soulmate and your, you letting your soulmate run trains on, run, run, run different women all around on you or different men on you? Get the hell out of here. How divine are you? Cause ain't no divine being ain't gonna let none of that money I got here I got see I'm your so cold I got here I got see I'm your so cold let anybody get away with that shit. How divine are you? Are you a divine feminine? Huh? Are you really a divine feminine to let this situation to go down like it is going now? Are you? Question yourself. What's your morals? What are you willing to accept? What are you not willing to accept? What boundaries are you putting up? Or do you just don't give a fuck? And you just let this man do what the fuck he want to do. Or woman do what the fuck you want to do. That means you're not a divine feminine. That means you're a karmic. If you're sitting around here and you say, oh, he can go be with that woman over there. And he could be with that man over there. She could be with that man. That ain't no motherfucking real divine union. A divine union only consists of one couple. Not more than that. I'm sorry. To each his own. I don't care if y'all into that poly polygamous lifestyle or not. I'm just, I'm doing what, the, what my mama told me to do. To each his own. I'm being all way real. I ain't got nothing against nobody who like those threesomes and all that bullshit. But I'm telling you, that's not, that's not the right way. And that's what my mama told me. On everything. I'm just being all way real with it. Now, y'all want to make up rules and regulations and shit like maybe at one time it was because we had to procreate the earth. But y'all done took this shit to a whole nother motherfucking level. With this goddamn, with these threesomes and, 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 and getting up and having, and having sex with different multiple people. That shit nasty. And, and yeah, it is. It is. Sharing germs and STDs and STIs and, uh, you know, you don't know who that other third person slept with and y'all got them sharing. Man, y'all nasty. I'm just being all the way real anyway. <laughs> I'm being for real. Like, no, man. Now, I can see on the procreating level, if there's like humanity and we're down to like two humans, three humans, 50 humans, that's just, that. it is what it is. And then try to justify, no. That shit nasty. That shit is disgusting. You know, and you wonder why your pH balance off because you let your masculine deal with other women. Yeah, that way. You wondering why he don't want to be with you because you let him be with other women. You wondering why this situation ain't working out because you don't put your foot down. You're, you're, you're a pushover. You're an enabler. Yeah. You're too weak. Grow some fucking woman balls. Yeah. And masculine too. <laughs> Pick up your kahunas. All right. Let me get into this reading. Not everybody. Like I said, this reading, this was totally out the blue. I wasn't expecting that message, but I guess that message is for somebody, not for everybody. I'm just coming through on the ones and twos to deliver these messages to you. Don't be no sucker. <laughs> this is what's the tea. Get in where you fit in at. Not everybody's situation, but somebody's situation. If you do agree with these messages, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. What's the messages? Yeah, there are somebody crying. Crying. Oh, they crying. Yeah, this fake ass friend of yours. So somebody crying, going through emotions. Somebody realizing that they couldn't control the situation anymore. The next energy I have is someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They are very nice to everyone, yet tr talk trash behind your back in order to improve social status. This person is impressed with you. This doesn't have to be a feminine energy. Energy. This could be your masculine. 
is crying over you, is wondering what happened to you guys. But this same person that put you through a lot of bullshit, that put you through a, tra a tumultuous life cycle, that did not give you your due justice, was being a fake-ass friend behind your back, was being a fake-ass lover behind your back, was using you and manipulating your energy for whatever that you could supply for them. Now they're sitting in the background crying. You're so gone. You're so done. Because I'm picking up that song, um... There's powers in those golden hills. Come on. You're a prized possession. Not everybody's worthy to feel. Even that, it says, what she say? I know because I went down that road that you headed down. There's power in that golden hills. Yeah. You're a prized possession. Not everybody's worthy. Divine Feminine. Jill Scott is letting you know. Can we telling you we've been down that same road? And it'll be a it, it, it will be a shame if you don't see your own glow. Are you going with the extremities between your legs, between your thighs, or are you using that eye between your thigh, between your uh, between your forehead? Which eye, which, which, which eye are you using? You feel me? Which which leg is you opening? Are you opening this third eye right here? Or is you opening that down there to receive love? You need to open up that third right here and get cracked open to see what's really going on in your situation. Yeah. This person was unimpressed with you and your abilities and your gifts. They didn't really want nothing from you. They didn't care. They was in a mundane energy. Whatever that you try to tell them, what knowledge, what, you know, healing energy, what, um, you know, conversations that y'all had. This motherfucker was like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear shit that you're trying to sell me or that you're trying to sell me. This person was not sold on you. Now they ass in the background crying like a motherfucker, like, damn, I picked the wrong one. I shouldn't have picked that mom. I shouldn't have picked that person over you. But that was being fake towards you, though. That's why you had to end the cycle out. This is piggybacking from the reading, reading I did earlier. And we needed to hear this. I know I did. Thank you so much, Adriana. This person put you in one side of love affairs. This person has a drinking problem and it's irresponsible. Somebody drinks and drives behind the wheel, doesn't pay attention. Somebody has, somebody drinks like a fish. I'm talking about they motherfucker got, they can drink brown liquor here. Yeah, they have lack, they, they, they take lack of accountability. They're very careless, uh, careless about the consequences of their actions and you can't rely on them. That's why you walked away, divine feminine or divine masculine. You walked away because you tried to tell this person about these one-sided love affairs. They didn't want to hear you or didn't want to see what you had to say about it. They thought that you was trying to, I guess, um, um, hate on their relationships, on their friends, their family members, their lovers, whatever the case may feel for you. They thought you was a hater, but you really wasn't. Now they're crying in the background because the shit has been exposed about these fake-ass individuals that, that's in his life or in her life. So let's continue with the message. And you had to walk away because that motherfucker was just trying to drain your energy for whatever reason. Why was he trying to drain her energy? Why did he want her around or him around? Yeah. Oh, because he was mooching off of you? Because he was trying to get something out of you? Yeah. Someone who survives off another's income. Somebody was surviving off your income, child. Your energy, child. Yeah. One, even if they have their own money, will use someone else's first. So they didn't want to spend their own money or use their own energy, or they did not want to give in to you or any other responsibilities. So they wanted you to do all the work. Cinderella story, a classic Cinderella story. Yeah. This person was a moocher in your life. This divine masculine, it was a karmic masculine. Yeah, it, that, this is not a divine. This is a karmic masculine. They only wanted your energy, your time, uh, whatever you had to give. They didn't want to give to you, but they kept taking it from you. And see, that's why you had to walk away and, and leave the situation. Because it was no good. Period. Yeah, you found out that motherfucker was married. Yeah. This, and this situation is coming to an end. You ended that shit. You could have married this person. You could have been, this was a, this, this could have been a soul contract, whatever. But you had to end that shit. This situation involves death and rebirth. Someone's attitude towards change of personal growth. You had to end this karmic marriage. Yeah, because this motherfucker was just bystanding and watching motherfuckers treat you like a piece of shit. So your masculine knew 
individuals was around and was discrediting, discrediting, discrediting you, threatening you, trying to um, one up you behind your back. And he still let these fake friends, family members, lovers and co-workers use you and abuse you. Who was it? A fucking distorted masculine. Let's go. Call their ass out, sauce. Yo goddamn divine masculine, your twin flame did this bullshit or whatever. Take it as it resonate. Is I don't know, baby. You have to send your donation to Star Seed 1983. I do charge for individual readings. Uh Liana. Yeah. He had he was abusing his power. He was forceful in denomination. He could have been physically abusing you, verbally abusing you, and spiritually abusing you, okay? He was a very weak emperor in the reverse. He competed against you. This motherfucking masculine, you was trying to help him out, but he looked at you as competition. Chad, you was never going to win with this masculine. How you going to win when you ain't right within? How you going to win when you ain't right within? Yeah, now he's cutting individuals off or you cut this person off. Take it as a resonate. You cut, you had to, yeah. Yeah, oh, you could, he cut these people off, whatever. They going through court issues right now. Ain't none of your, ain't none of our problems. Yeah. He was dealing with somebody who was acting like a fucking clown. That Harley Quinn energy. That's that goddamn, that comic, uh, that brawl that he was dealing with, he picked over you. Yeah. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care about this situation. So he was acting a fool. He was being goofy and shit. Yeah. Yeah. He was being a spiritual hater, but I feel like he was dealing with a spiritual hater. That's why that card is in the reverse. This bra can look like a motherfucking clown. I know who the fuck that is. Well, her silly ass. I get tired of picking up on their damn energy, y'all. I, I really do. They so, they so fucking silly. But he chose, he married that person over you. And she was mooching off of his ass. With his dumb ass. Yeah. And he was a distorted masculine when he was going through this shit. Now he want to got them be off the grid because his business is getting exposed. Yeah, they're going through court issues. It is what it is. I don't know, Latanya. You have to send your donation to Starseed1983 for your energy. Those energies are $10.10 for seven card energies. All right. So let's get to the next deck. Chad. There's powers in the golden hills. Come on. You a prized possession. Not everybody's worthy. I'm going to say this one more time. For individuals who want their reading done, I do charge for individual readings. If you feel like you don't want to pay for that reading, then you can. Or you can just listen to the messages. Take it as it resonates. Grand Rising, what's up, sis? What's up, Latrice? What's up, baby? So we're just doing some random messages. I'm just coming through on the ones and twos real quick before I head out for today. You're going through an awakening right now, Divine Feminine, for some of you guys. Yeah, they wanted you to self-sabotage yourself but you're, because you are very desirable. Motherfuckers wanted you. Motherfuckers is jealous of you. They want you to self-sabotage yourself because you have desirable outcomes coming towards you, Chad. But you ain't going to do that 24. Somebody could be 24 years old. Somebody could be a life path number eight. Yeah, you could be a Sagittarius here. You're very desirable. Okay, so some, you're yeah, very magical and you're being crowned. Somebody was trying to get or people or a community of people was trying to get you to self-sabotage yourself so you wouldn't have a new beginning. Okay. But like I said, you are worthy to get this. 14 is here. And you're, you're going to re receive joy and you're birthing out a new baby or a new idea. Somebody wanted you to stay in this rage energy and be mad. I feel like somebody is mad that they can't get under your skin anymore. Let's get one more card. Yeah, this wicked ass witch. Somebody who acts like a angel, but will cut a motherfucking rug. Somebody who changes with the wind. So you can't trust this person. 
This could be a mother, an aunt, a cousin. This person is pissed off at you that this magic didn't work. That this rage that you was going to have was going to implement some type of change. Maybe because some secrets has been exposed and they thought you was going to get mad and you was going to get angry and you didn't, re you didn't react. They was trying to get you to self-sabotage yourself, honey. And you, what you did was you transmuted that energy, love. And guess what? You are about to get these blessings. Period. You have liberated yourself. As you can see, you got these people in the background that's watching you. And you got your motherfucking goddamn Thule ready. And you saying, I wish a bitch would. I'm just saying, I ain't promoting no goddamn violence. Please believe it. You are liberating yourself. You are coming up with the sun, child. Your and your ancestors here and say, bitch, I wish you would. And they cut a soul contract. A twin flame that that person you was dealing with, they cut that motherfucker. They cut him. That's why he can't feel your energy and you can't feel his. Or are you feeling the effects from the cord cut? Damn. That's what it is. You're feeling the effects from the cord cut. I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. I'll be back for you know it. So this twin, y'all may come back and reconcile, but your ancestors had to cut this all the way out. I don't know what you mean. What you, I don't know what you need to do, baby. I don't know your situation. You have to get a reading for me to know. I can't answer your question if I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> be money, because this is a collective reading. This is not an everybody reading. This is a this is a collective reading. I do charge for individual readings, okay? Again, guys, I do charge for individual readings. Let me know if you want to send that donation, and then I'll get your reading to you. Okay? What's up, Milski? <laughs> Let me get some tarot. And I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all ain't going to be pulling up on my energy like this. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, you had to let go of control. You're going through a mag magical rebirth. You feel safe. You live out loud. You don't care what people say or think or feel about you. Yeah, you're about to receive a lot of a lot of abundance coming towards your way. Yeah, you have been manifesting. This rain is going to bring you in a lot of manifestations. Maybe you've been praying. Manifestations is coming to your life. And my godmother here, who is a peak, a.k.a. Marie Laveau, she is here to uh, let you know that you got good juju is in your energy. Seven, because you completed a cycle. Okay. Okay, perfectly flawed. I'm, gonna, I'm about to read your energy. I'm done with collective energies now. I got my first donation. After I read, after I read perfectly flawed 41 reading, I will end this session if no one else wants a reading. Okay? Thank you, guys. So that is your collective energy for today. Let me get your name in the book of blessings and donations. For um, but the reading that she got is um a ten dollars and ten cent reading, and it's with seven cards, and you may get more than seven depending on how the universe give it to me, cause these messages are straight from the divine. I'm not picking them; the divine is so. Yeah, <laughs> so accurate. Thank you, thank you so much, user. I love you. What's the cash app? The cash app is Starseed1983. Starseed1983. I also have um, Zelle, if you guys have Zelle. And I have, uh, what's the other one? Venmo. If y'all need information on that. But I, I strongly use cash app. You know, if that's for individuals who don't have cash app. Yeah, my foot itching. Maybe somebody about to travel. I'll post it in a minute. Oh, thank you. You already know Latrice. 3232. 32. Oh, shit. Y'all made it want to look up that angel number? Oh, my foot itching. Y'all know 3232 32 breaks down to 55. 55 breaks down to 10. 10 breaks down to 1. We going, yeah, my itching to yours too. That shit itching like a motherfucker. Shit. Hey, thank you, sis, for the $22.22. Thank you, Latrice. Thank you, Tamika, for the $10.10. Let's get into you guys' reading. I love you, Latrice. I was just talking about you this morning, too, Latrice, about our school sessions. You and um, Sharon. 
I was telling them like how Latrice, how you are learning um the birth chart system and you're learning um the the elements of your birth chart and how you can tap into your abilities and gifts and abilities. And I um was also telling them about Sharon, how she's joining the mudra classes, the meditation classes this morning. That was on the second video though. I mean the first video. Shaya, yeah. my left your left foot is it? Yes, my left foot is this one. I'm over here itching like a motherfucker since this shit itching like hell. <laughs> Shut up before the last reading. Yep. Yep, it did. Girl, y'all know what time it is. Let me get let me get to the message. Let me get y'all into the book of blessings and donations real quick. Let's get it. Strange ground to walk on. That is right, user. Yeah. And I was thinking about traveling. So, yeah. Let's go. Hey. I'm ready. Eyes ready, boss. So, we're going to get Latrice first, and then we're going to get Tamika. Y'all give me one minute. I got to hit my cat. I got to get my cabbage for a second. And then we're going to get started. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And I say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking right. Fucking right. All right. I got hell yeah. I got that Drake big time. And what's the other Drake song? 21. Would you do something for me? Y'all know he talking about the divine, right? 21. Break it down to three. Being divinely connected. Come on now. Drake, no. Drake, no. Six God. Six God. Ah. Drake, no. What? Y'all ain't know. Y'all better goddamn do y'all research. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's another discussion. <laughs> Latrice, you just want what Latrice, what kind of reading you want me to do for you, baby? Let me give me a little bit of water. Now I got that song. No weapon formed against me shall prosper from Trinity. You may want to look that song up. I did not mean to do that. I love y'all. Career and divine messages. Okay. All right. So let's go. Let's start with your career. This one. Then I want a money one. And then I want the tarot one. And divine messages. Then we're going to get this divine deck right here. So since you know I'm going to bust it all the way down for you, since you know I got you. We're going to do about four, but we're going to do about four decks, okay? When, when, when you make that those $22 donations, I make sure I bring in four decks so you can get a, clear, a clearer perspective of what's going on with your energy. Let me get this out of here. So we're going to start with her career first, and I don't want to use this for career. I actually want to use the tarot. And I'm going to use the animal. Okay. Let's get what's crowning her read for her career. They want you to make your dreams come real. This card was trying to come out. It's time to make those dreams. You know what that dream is. You know what that dream is. Yeah, it came out again, sis. Damn. It came out again. So, yeah. Right now, please hold all your comments. I am doing a personal reading. And if you need your energy read, please send your donation to Starseed1983. I do not read free energies, okay? Unless it's collective. The energy I have is spider spirit. Make your dreams real. So I believe this is talking about your, 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 not your, not, not your, not like a job, but th that dream that we discussed about sister. 
They want you to know your worth. I feel like they want you to let that damn job go. Oh, shit. We finna get into it, though. They want you to know your worth. Like, you, are you overworking yourself, sis? You overdoing something here, sis? They want you to know your, your worth. This job doesn't deserve you. Whatever that, that job is that you're at, they want you to make this dream come true. But I'm not telling you to leave or quit or anything like that. But they want you to know to recognize your self-worth that this job does not appreciate you. That's what I'm picking up. Let's get to the next energy. Give me some tarot. Give me something about this, this, this her career, her job, or whatever that she needs to know. Yeah, there's a woman at your job that is gunning for you. That's why the universe don't want you around this motherfucker or around that job because there's somebody making it hard for you. Please confirm with me, sis. Yeah, there's an empress energy at your job. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. This motherfucker ain't shit. This could be a boss of yours or an assistant manager of yours or someone that thinks that, that that's trying to get this position or trying to get your position. Watch out for this motherfucker. Yeah, someone is very delusional. Who's around you at your job? This person has wishful thinking here. Very delusional. This, this is a queen of what? There's also a queen of wands energy here. So you, you're working around a different, a lot of people that don't mean you shit. You got a hoe. You got a, you got an employee that's a motherfucker who like to sleep around with the boss here. Get the fuck out of here, yo. I know good and goddamn well. Thank you, sis. Yeah, so you got an emperor energy here and a queen of wands energy here who ain't shit. They trying to keep your boss confused about you. But like I say, you know your self-worth. That's why the universe wants you to walk away from these motherfuckers because they trying to set, they trying to bake a plan to set you up at your job. Fuck them hoes. Yeah, we're going to expose their ass too. Yeah, also in Aquarius energy, you're surrounding around a bunch of um, workers who ain't shit, sis. You got Aquarius energy here. You got a Queen of um, a Wands energy here. And you got a motherfucking Empress in a reverse energy here. That all got wishful thinking that they gonna got them take over a situation. But they trying to keep this masculine, your boss, confused about you. Chad. Yeah, Page of Wands energy. Aries Leo Sag. Yeah, they came to this boss. We're like, oh, boss man, let me tell you about this. Or boss man, let me tell you about that. But they was goddamn ooh. They was developing a plan to keep this boss from maybe giving you a um a position. Somebody try to f their way to the top. Is what I'm picking up. So they slept with this masculine, yo boss, so they could get so that they keep him confused, so they can get your position. He's a dumb bitch. Yeah. Now he's realizing that this person did not love him. Yo, boss, let me tell you what's going on, sis. Yo, boss, to put your blocks up to these karmic individuals. So these karmic individuals would be like, because your, your boss must be somebody who is very promiscuous, right? And he sleeps around with his women co-workers. And I feel like he's been, he done did this more than one time, right? And I feel like that for these certain positions that these women were trying to get, they will sleep with this masculine to get some type of money, some type of, like I say, a position. But now the truth has been foretold about these co-workers now that's at your job. Your, your boss is now cutting off these individuals because he realized that these individuals really didn't have his, be his best interests. He realizing that they devised a plan to keep him stuck and to look at you differently. Yeah, they, they was massaging you know what. I'm just, look, what Source is saying pretty much for your career, yeah, you had witches that was in your energy, that was look, that had your boss look at you in a different way. They use sex games, they use sex magic, they use um, false lies, truths on you is what I'm picking up to make this masculine look at you different. That makes sense, sis? What's my Zell? My Zell phone number is 980-312-7821. That's exactly what I'm picking up. What's the outcome in this situation? He wants to come and apologize to you for believing in this fire sign over you. He knew that this fire sign was a lie. 
And he wants to apologize to you for not believing in you when you was trying to tell him the motherfucking truth. He has gained a different perspective about who all these co-workers are and is ready to end this situation once and for all. Somebody, could they could be losing their job. Yeah, I feel like your boss is going through inner conflict and he knows now that they was only holding on to him to gain some type of raise, some type of promotion, some type of new beginning. They was only sleeping with him so they can get a position. That's your career energy. But Source says you need to make your dreams come real and leave this fucking job alone. I'm going to be all way real with you, sis. But don't goddamn quit just because you got to make a, devise a plan, make a plan, and follow through. All right? Because you know your self-worth. You ain't got to deal with this shit. He treat, yeah, because he was treating you like shit. He wasn't giving you your raise. He wasn't giving you your promotions. He wasn't giving you your due justice, period. And he want to apologize to you because he was listening to these other people because there was, there was being, there was in his ear trying to get him to shortchange you, to jip you, to not give you what's due to you is what I'm picking up. Let me get the next energy. This is still her career. Yeah, the sun has been illuminated about this situation. Yeah, and they want you to connect with your deep, um, uh, yeah, you had an unknown feelings, past life influences, deep emotions. Clarify this unknown feelings. So this Leo energy, these are, yeah, you're going to, yeah, this outcome, you're going to have wisdom here. You're going to be learning. You're going to have a lot of joy and you're going to love, you're going to love your craft. It's time to prepare your mind. So they want you to prepare yourself to leave this situation, this job. I feel like that this is a past life situation that you need to heal from, from that career, that job. You will heal from, heal from it, period. This, this job will be in the past. Once you, you know, make that sacrifice, God going to take care of you either way it go. I feel like the more you, the more wisdom you get, the more knowledgeable you get, the more fun you, you're going to have with your new career. Your new job, that what that business is that you want. Yeah, the sun is going to be illuminated about this. It's going to bring you enlightenment. And they want you to start learning, building. They want you to start researching and putting this act together. They want you to start putting this business together. Start putting the, start putting the work with it together. And watch how that shit starts to formulate for you, sis. We talked about this yesterday. Let me get the next energy. This is your career. Let me get one more. So let's just say one more. Yeah. You're going to be abundant when you tap into this, um, this life path here. Yeah. Something is about to be revealed to you under this new moon energy. You are overcoming any difficulties in your life right now, sis. You're reclaiming your power back and you now see the big picture with your bad ass. You a bad ass beam of light, baby. Yeah, but guess who's here? Your high priest energy is here. And I feel like that you guys are going to, you're going to be taking care of your, your winter needs. I don't know why your high priest is here. I feel like this could be your boss because we're talking about your career. So your boss is like an emperor energy and he's coming up in, in your energy and I feel like he's going to help you. Get a raise or a promotion. This is what I'm picking up, sis. Something about taking care of your winter needs and with a, and a, with a, with a high priest. So I feel like this emperor energy, this boss, wants to reconcile with you and wants to build with you and maybe also offer you a, a hell of a deal here, sis. I'm picking that up. Yeah. you. He see the bigger picture now is what I'm picking up. Yeah, you are a great teacher. Told you, you are a great teacher. You're about to bask in joy and light by the summertime if you take initiation. We got Oshun energy here, and you're going to be traveling. I knew my goddamn foot got damn itched for a reason. You're meant to travel to heal the earth, period. Your ass is supposed to be traveling to heal the earth, to use your wisdom, to be a great teacher. This is going to bring you abundance. 
the sun, sun has been illuminated about this situation. You're taking control of your power back. You are having a beginning mind now. This is a beautiful message, sis. You know your self-worth. You let go of that old that job situation. You had a deep knowing about what was going on at this job. And you're releasing any um, feelings about these co-workers. Yeah, something is about to be... Uh, you're about to get some type of message, a dream message under the new moon. Under the new moon, which is on the 6th. So pay attention to your dreams. Like I said, you're about to tap into this fortune. It's your time to shine. Okay, let's get to your um, spiritual messages, sis. Did, was there any other career messages I have for you? I don't know, Raza. You have to um, see your donations to Starseed1983. I do charge $10.10. I don't know about your health, baby. This is, a, um, this is a personal reading here. These are not individuals. These are personal. I do charge for individual readings, okay? I don't know if you'll win the week this weekend. I don't know, baby. You have to pay for you have to pay for your donation to be read. I mean, you have to pay for your energy to be read. I don't do yes or no questions. I do card questions, which starts at ten dollars and ten cents for seven cards. Y'all already know. Thank you, Janae. I love you guys. Big big vibe already. And Latrice, let me know if there's any other career um, messages that I need to clear up for you or job. Oh, your money. Oh, my, somebody's shoulder could be hurting. I did not have this pain earlier. I want a reading. This message was direct. Okay, baby, you can send your message. You can send, yes, mine. Okay, yes, my pa Okay, because I feel that shit all right here, y'all. God dang. <laughs> I was fine earlier today. I feel you, collective. You can send for seven card energies, guys. You can send your donation to seven dollars and seven cents. You can send your donations to Star Seed One Nine Eight Three. Uh, for seven cards, you could get ten. I mean, for ten ten, you will get seven cards or more, depending on what comes out. And I add my donation. Can I get one? Before my reading, I wasn't aware. That that's just for people who do pay for extra. But you can get you can get an extra one though. I wasn't aware. Yeah, that's for like individuals. Like whenever, whenever people donate big like that, that's when I go harder with it. But I do have individual readings I do outside of live sessions, and they start at twenty two dollars up to fifty five dollars an hour. And I mean not an hour from twenty two dollars to fifty five um up uh, to fifty five dollars, and they start from twenty two minutes to an hour. So I do do detail readings if you guys are interested. I do do detail readings. But when I do start off with, with snapshot readings, but if you guys would like to have, I don't really like pulling on those 20, those, those 22 readings online like that because it pulls a lot of my energy. That's why I do it like that. But if you're willing to send that donation, I'll go ahead and do it for you this one time. But I'm not going to do any more 22s right now because it pulls on a lot of my energy, guys. It really do. It, it, it drains me a lot and I won't be able to get to the other readings. And that's why I like to do those personally. But since sis did that, I just went on ahead and got that done for her because she showed love. Yeah. So, yeah. It says, before my reading, I wasn't aware of the $22 spread. Can I add to my donation to get one? Yeah, and, and yeah, whenever you send the other half, I get the other reading for you, baby. But let me get these people out the way first and I'm gonna get and I can reroute back to you. Alright. So sis, let me get your um your yeah, you got money, skills, and investor. I told you this motherfucker finna got them give you something. Didn't I tell you? Your boss man is about to get... I think your boss... I feel like your boss man is your investor. Well, as far as in, you know, for a, a, a current situation. Because he wants to bless you for what he took from you. Or what these people were trying to take from you. Have a good reading. You too. Thank you so much, Ryan. I love you. Yes, you are about to go through a sudden change. In your finances. Get ready. Sis. You got sudden change. Short term loan. Short movement. Arts movement. Temp work. Fun work. Sudden change. Yeah, you about to have overflow of, 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 of um, abundance is coming your way. Is this dealing with the investor at her job? I mean, her boss.
Yep, your boss is about to come and got them bless you. Chad. Alright. This is the only time I do a yes or no unless I'm clarifying a question. I I don't do no yes or no now. <laughs> Mama say, hell no, we don't do no yes or no. You got to pay for that shit. I'm just being always fucking real. <laughs> we don't play. We don't play. And we yeah, we do magic tricks. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Solid finances, investing, integrity, deep values, banking, long-term position, satisfying work. I wouldn't leave nowhere yet till I get my fucking money. She ain't leaving though, is she? It's not time for her to leave, is it? I don't think so. Nope. So y'all want her to continue with this job and also work on her life path? No, she's going to end up leave, losing, leaving this job sooner or later. Yeah, so she can work on her life path. Yeah. Oh, y'all want her to get this goddamn uh, promotion first. Or oh, money. They want you to get that money first, sis. Mama said, Mama said, don't you go no motherfucking well. Hold on, because you finna get paid. And then after that, she'll be able to, to let go. And start on her business. Tempo. Let me back up and don't hit me in the face. All right. Thank you. That's your energy, sis. Let's get into some spiritual messages. Ooh. Damn, you got a good outcome, sis. Let me get one more card. Yeah, you've been around any uh, financial relief or, I mean, any financial problems or whatever. You're going to have financial relief. Yeah, you're about to have a lucky break, baby. Damn, sis. You finna win. These money conflictions is over with. In the reverse. Can't nobody hold, they can't hold your money down no more or your promotion or whatever that's owed to you. Yeah, you about to have a lucky break, sis. Yeah. Good fortune, chance, gamble, finances, risky business, a surprise is coming your way. Financial relief, being content, loving, care, supportive role, job security, growing. You're the rose that grew from concrete. Get ready to receive this blessing. Okay. Divine messages. What are, are her divine messages? This was a karmic relationship. Your, your boss was very karmic. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, you on a, you got a double mission. Bam! You on a double mission. That means that you're doing more than one task out here, sis. You remember when I was telling you about those abilities and those gifts and those talents? That This is part of your double mission. Lightworker, starseed, you're here to serve the world by being you. Yep, they want you, yeah, the divine say, jump in, baby. Go ahead, honey, take a chance. They want you to jump in into this new abundance, to this, in, into this knowledge. You see that eye? They say, you can read my third eye. They want, you, they want you to dig in and dive in deep into your spirituality. Because you more than skin, you more than just skin surface. You are actually so deep, baby. You are deep, deep, so deep, so deep. They don't even know how deep you can go. How low can it go? Hey, how far can it go? Hey, see, we, we got that old primordial language, English. Uh, what I want to say, um, knowledge, sis. So you got that old galactic knowledge. They want you to tap into that third eye. Tap into that primordial knowledge. They got something to show you. Okay. Yeah, lost lands, soul, memories, and gifts. What I tell you under this new moon, you're going to be receiving some intuitive messages in your dreams. You've done this before. Period. Yeah, it's going to come to you like goddamn like it ain't like white on rice. It's going to come to you. It's going to come to you good, good. It's going to come to you easy. You in school, baby. Welcome to the school of the hard knocks. Yeah. You are in school, it says... Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. So you're studying right now. 
You're going through life lessons right now. You're learning how to cultivate your skills and abilities and talents so you can tap back into what you used to do back way, way, way back in the day. Yes. You're very earthed. You're not from this planet. You are actually from the primordial waters is what I'm picking up. I said that for a reason. You are, you are a earth angel. You are a angel. You are a divine being. You're not fucking human. No, I don't do free readings, baby. Learning how to be human in a world, but not of it. So you're like, man, I'm, these people don't get me. They don't understand me. Man, what the hell? Why am I around these people? Well, it's because you know you you are more in tune than they are. And that's why you're here to help lead them to show them how they can tap into their abilities too, sis. <laughs> but you feel like, like, man, I don't even, I don't even graduate, I don't even gravitate to these people. Man, I'd be like, man, what the hell is wrong with these people? Let's just look at them. They over there looking all crazy and shit, right? <laughs> but they don't know any better, sis. That's why God picked you to lead the way. It's, there's a reason why you're here to do this mission because God want to save individuals unbeknownst to them. They want to help them. God want to help them get saved too. It ain't about you and me. It's about what God want. You know what I'm saying? People get mixed up behind that shit and use their gifts and their talents and their abilities for other shit. When God said, God wanted you to come down here and help these individuals that's lost. That, that We got fallen angels that has lost their way home. Understood. Yeah, you got me. Thank you. So we're here to guide the ones who wants who want to go back home. I want to go home. I don't want to be here. This is not my home. I'm going home and I'm working off my karmic debt to help out any other individual who ready to go home. This is not my home. Okay. I come from serious. I don't fuck that. I'm going back to serious. Fuck ever. <laughs> going home to be with my Naki tribe. We got a new planet. Okay? <laughs> I'm not going to be here. Or wherever the most high see me, but I know where I come from. I know I don't come from here. I know who my tribe is. And I ain't talking about no goddamn tribe on this earth. I'm talking about my, my galactic tribe. But that's another story though. I ain't finna get into that. <laughs> yeah. Cosmos, the universe loves you. You have a big heart, sis. Yes. You have devotion, you have potency, and you going to you live your life as a prayer. Period. Let me get one more. We're gonna close out your reading. Yeah, Mars energy is here. Anger, conflict, softening to love. I feel like that that masculine energy. Remember, remember when I told you that Aries energy? Your boss is like pissed off right now because of the deceptive, um, envious, and jealous behavior he found out. About those co-workers. He's pissed the fuck off. So these three individuals. May be losing their job. If not one. If not all three. One of them. Possibly one at a time. But that's their karma though. Because they tried to do something. And throw you under the bus. And that shit has been backfired. Since that's your energy. Thank you for letting me read for you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me hit my cabbage. That was a lot of downloads. <laughs> Let me get my next energy here. Tamika, you're next with your 1010 energy. And if anybody else sent the donation, please let me know now so I can check my accounts. I do check all my accounts before I start readings. So don't be on here and be like, oh, I sent the reading. You ain't sent shit because I'm going to know. I'm going to be always real. Y'all know how it goes. Let's go. <sighs> I sent the donation. Hey, girl, I was talking about your ass this morning too. I got you, spiritual queen. Man, I've been talking about you and, 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 and Latrice all morning. About how y'all are some great students. I can't wait to um do that lesson with you tomorrow, sis. We're going to tap into the seven chakra system tomorrow. But I was telling them about my two the two students that's, that, that I'm teaching right now, which is you, Sharon. And I was teaching, us, of course, Latrice, too. They always support your girl. I love them. I love them. So, uh, Perfectly Flawed, I'm about to get your reading now. I just got your cash app. So, you're going to get your reading now. I just said, come on up. Thank you, guys. You see my tribe. Look out for me. But Sharon, I'll be doing Sharon reading tomorrow. See, she's the only one that... It was for a group of y'all. 
But see, she was the only one that got it, so it'll be an individual reading. But if anybody else that want to come through and join our class session, well, it won't be on hers because hers is private. But for a class setting, if you guys do want to join a class setting separate from hers, then we I will restart a class to learn about um, the seven, uh, the, 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 the chakra system and how to meditate in your mudras. These classes will be broken down over, uh, three weeks. These classes are $55 and 55 cents for three weeks. Okay. $55 and for, and 55 cents for three weeks. And we will be restarting new subjects over every three weeks. So get in where you fit in that. Y'all know I don't do shit free, but I do give out collective energies free. We're going to keep it all so real around here. All right, so let's get into, oh, my damn neck hurt. Tamika, Tamika, what kind of energy did you need? Thank you, Janae. I love you. Let me check my cash out. I got to get my ass out of here and get on Uber. I'm going to get everybody who has sent donations, and if no one has a sent the donation after these people, then I guess I'll catch up with y'all later. So I'm giving, letting you guys know now. If you do want to send your donation, send it now. If not, I will be ending it after my last donation. Who have I read for? Divine messages. Okay. So perfectly flawed is next. And then Sharon, you're after her. And if no one else has a sent a donation. Who is this? I'll call. Y'all give me a second. Let me answer this. I'll call him back later. So we got Tamika, 1010, and then we got Sharon for 1111. Thank you, Sharon. Some of you guys are about to receive a phone call. So we're going to go ahead and do Tamika for Divine Messages. Damn, stop. I got to take that man his key back. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm back. So let's get divine messages. This is for Tamika. We're gonna get. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna pull from like three different of my higher self messages deck to get the messages that you need. So what's this one? So you have let spirit guide you. You need to let spirit guide you right now. Let spirit guide you to show you to lead you the way. Thirty two breaking down to five. You are about to have a significant change in your life. They want you to be generous at the moment. Um, I have. There is always enough. So you may be feeling like, oh, I don't, I need more money or I need more of this. I need more of that. No, you don't. God got you. Work with what you got. God going to supply for you. When you feel like you're going down and out, God going to show up in your life and give you the things that you need. Okay. And they want you to be guided by spirit right now. They want you to be generous with yourself and be generous with people around you. Have a loving heart, a kind heart, a soft, soften your heart up. Lion spirit. You could be a part of the tribe of Judah. The next energy I have is trust and divine detours. Something that did not work for you. You thought it was going to work for you. Didn't work. But God had to clear out whatever that was in your energy so you can receive this blessing. And they want you to bring a gentle touch towards your job or your career. Let's get another message. Okay. So be, 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 be open. Okay. Okay. Be loving, be caring, even though you may have some resentment because of your past relationship, but let that go because that resentment can stop you from having new beginnings and opportunities. You want to be open and loving and caring and nurturing. You want to heal your emotions and be evolved in your emotions and be deep in your emotions so you can bring these manifestations quicker to you. I feel like you are going to get through the pain, the um, the agony, the sorrow, whatever that you went through in the past. I feel like that you're going to have enough. You're going to always have enough. 
God is going to always take care of you. Yes, yeah, star bathing, light body, crystal grid transmission. You're being activated right now. But I'm also take, picking up that you may need to take a salt bath. Epsom salt. Like you can even get in the shower like I do. Get a salt, get you some salt and rub it over your body and wish all that negative energy away from you. Send all that energy back to sender. Ask source to cleanse out, to cleanse out your energetic aura field so you can have a renewed way of thinking and feeling and how you can, you and you will be able to discern your um, energy if somebody was trying to project onto you or not. I feel like someone is trying to project onto you and that's why you may be feeling a little, you know, stagnant right now or like, yeah, fuck so much, you know, that type of energy. <laughs> oh man, I ain't got to deal with that bullshit. Fuck you too much, you know. But God wants you to be like, yo, no, that ain't your energy, child. That's, 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 that's their energy. It's cool, though. We live and we learn, right? It's cool, though. Yeah, you're an empath star seed. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Because you picking up on somebody else's energy. Chad? Yeah, you picking up on somebody else's energy, Chad. You being called in to get down to receive these. It's, yeah, you being called in. Yep, uh, yep, I'm there. Yep. Get your ass, got them in that goddamn shower and got them put that goddamn Epsom salt. I got a big bag of Epsom salt. I got them. I'm going to tell you, I start from my feet because I feel like energy is carried through from the feet all the way up. So I start with my feet and I salt bath all the way up. Then I let the water run back over me down and then I get my soap and whatever else I use. For anybody that want to know how to cleanse that energy from negative people. Because you are an empath. You can feel, you can sense. You can smell, you can tell what the hell is going on in your energy. And if you don't know, and if it, and if you wonder like why the fuck I feel this way, that that is because you're an empath, baby. Because you're a star seed. Because you can absorb what's yeah. You absor it says absorbing what's not yours. Hallelujah! Thank you, God. It says it right here on the card, child. Energetic sovereignty. Yeah. Because you're very goddamn intuitive. You're very psychic. You're very connected with the, with the divine. But your energy is very sacred. But there's people still trying to manipulate your energy. That ain't you, baby. That's them. You ain't nothing like them. Period. Yeah. You got soul gifts you're about to tap into, Chad. And you're going through a soul activation. Yeah, soul gifts, training. It's time to step up. Period. How much is uh, how much is the reading for this particular reading? It's ten dollars and ten cents for seven cards. You're going to be co-creating with the universe. The seven sisters birthing in new creations, tapestry um, expression. Now that you have let go and let God in, and you're going to do the spiritual cleanse, you're going to be able to co-create more. Your brain gonna go, your brain gonna be like boop, 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 boop. It's gonna got them connecting this dot with that dot with that dot, this over there, that, that over there. You like, well, how the hell did I come up with that? Because you let the past go, because you did that spiritual bath, because you want something new and you're gonna get something new. All paths lead back home. I don't care if you are Muslim, I don't care if you're Jehovah, I don't care if you're a Baptist, I don't care if you're Jewish. I don't care if you got them connected with goddamn African spirituality. I don't give a damn what goddamn uh, religion you are. It all come from God. Even magic. So, if you have a hard time wrapping your head around religion, it still go back to God. All belief systems go back to God. Who you think? If you really think God only made one religious system, okay. God connects to us through all many forms and fashions and ways. Through different cultures, religions, and different aspects of our lives. So yes, God is all religions. Yes, God is all cultures. The fuck you talking about? God is, is God as. I am God is what God said. Not me, y'all. But I'm talking about like what God's saying now. Shit. I'm not taking no credit for that shit. I'm just saying though. I'm channeling right now. <laughs> oh my god, I just said that conversation yesterday. Yes. All all yeah, I'm trying to tell you, sis. Yeah. Oh, we got a karmic on here trying to take my clients away. We're gonna block her though. Oh, bless her poor heart. Bless her heart. Yeah. 
<laughs> bless her heart. We got to bless their heart. Oh, this is a message. What was the message? Sticks and stones. What was it in that Drake song? Sticks and stones, chrome on chrome. I could kiss my enemies through the internet phone. Yeah. Hold up. Sticks and stones, chrome on chrome. We got, in, what's it? What'd he say? Impersonators. We gonna kiss you through the phone. You, in, 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 impersonating thugs. Be online. We gonna kiss you through the phone. There you go, baby. Chrome on chrome. Sticks and stones. We got impersonators here. And we gonna kiss you through the phone. Let's go. Yeah, I already know who up in here. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Y'all didn't know I could pick up on that comic energy like that. Get out of here. All right, let me get one more energy for you, sis. We're going to get up out of your energy. I want to get um, the 144,000 deck. And I think I'm going to get, yeah, Sharon is the last one. Yeah. Spend time in Hermit. Spend time alone. You have Nick, a Rick, natural Ricky healing powers. I know real. I'm a pass on that. I know real. I know, right? Hey, girl, I already blocked that person, Chad. Yeah, but that's that. Look, sticks and stones, chrome on chrome. Them impersonators, we're going to kiss you through the phone. They kiss of death. Huh? Yeah, I done told them to be lit. stay off my channel. I done told them. They gonna, I done told them. They keep playing. They ain't doing nothing but making their channel go down wrong. They, they, they doing it to their own channel. The kiss of death is here now. You did it. Sorry. You should have been on here doing that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you're going through a DNA upgrade. You will be going through a DNA, DNA upgrade. Good morning, Christina. What I tell you? They did spell work on you, child. They were trying to do spell work. Spell work, child. Yeah, your enemies, child. Yeah. That's why they want you to take the spell bath. But I can also return that energy back to you double if you need me to. I do charge $33.33 if you want that energy returned back the proper way. I got you. Yeah, your third eye is awakening, and you're part of the a royal bloodline. And they don't play no games about you, Chad. Yeah, there was a false, oh, it was an earth sign that did that bullshit on you. You know what that earth sign is. Earth angel, a fallen angel who did that bullshit on you. These secrets has been unearthed. Bitch! Yeah, that way. That's your energy, sis. Thank you for letting me read. Good morning, Crystal. <laughs> they be impersonating coming online, and we're going to give them the death kiss every time. They come online trying to infiltrate my energy. We're going to eradicate them so eloquently. Come again, come again, ho. We're going to let you off so good, so properly. <laughs> Yeah, we want all the shits. This is a mind of a maniac. How dare you come across a God like me or you're coming through on the ones and twos to receive this messages to you. We're going to receive these messages. We're going to get these messages and we're going to eradicate these enemies. Yeah, I see dead people. Six cents. Let's go. We're about to get it cracking. Let's get it. Sharon, your energy is next. First, Christy, let me see. Let me see on my cash out. I got Sharon next. Point blank. You work with so much perfectly flawed. Y'all already know, Crystal. Let's get it. Sharon, your next. Sharon, what energy did you want me to read? Fuck that. <laughs> we are, ain't nobody finna fuck with us in these spiritual streets. What the hell? <laughs> What is the purpose of the cards? If you want to know more about the card, the purpose of the cards, it, I don't need cards. These cards is for the collective. I can intuitively tap into your energy and find out what was going on in your situation. I don't need fucking cards. The cards is for the collective. No. Sorry if I cussed at you a few. Wasn't trying to be mean towards you or nothing. But 
The cards is just to show the collective was in their energy, but I can already tell what's in their energy. The cards is just to let you know. Let's see. So, Larry, I just want to pull on Larry energy real quick. Since Larry want to know in question. Hold up, Sharon. Let me type out your energy one second. Let's, let me get one card for Larry. Where my thing get? Let's get one card for Larry. If he want to see how the card work. So this is how the cards work. This is energy is for Larry. Give me one card for Larry. And I'm going to get into Sharon energy. One card for Larry. Larry, did you break from your girlfriend or did your girlfriend break from you? Did, some, did you gaslight somebody or did somebody gaslight you? Somebody wasn't being unfair in your situation and I'm going to end it right there. And they told me to read this card to you. Maybe you're on a double mission. Maybe you're a divine masculine. But I'm going to end it right there. Now you let me know if that card sit, call him out. You know I'm going to call your ass out every goddamn time. I don't care. He may be a, be a divine masculine though. Because it, it did hit my double mission. So he may be a, 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 a masculine that need to get his shit together. I don't know. Or maybe he got his shit together. I don't know. But I ain't going to get in his energy. I just want him to know, yeah, I'm in your energy. All right, let's get into sharing energy. Y'all know, don't cover me. Because I call y'all ass out every time. Regardless if it's feminine or masculine energy, it doesn't matter. But the cards are basically here to show the collective the energy so they know that I'm not lying or making up shit at the side of my ass. <laughs> yeah. So I got uh, Five of Cups energy for you, sis. Hold up, sis. What did you want, Sharon? Love or did you want spiritual messages? I got to check my cash out. You already know I ain't proving shit. <laughs> you know, but I, but you know, I do what I do for a reason, man. I love it, though. I love it. Spiritual message. Okay, baby. Let's get your spiritual message. I want a spiritual message. Okay, y'all see y'all. Charlena Spirit. That, your name almost connected to my uh, name. My name's Sharina. Charlena Spirit. <laughs> All right. If you guys want a spiritual reading, please send your donations to Starseed1983. Starseed1983. So we're going to get into Sharon's message. Let's get into her divine messages from the from source. Thank you so much. You're going through a, a deep heal, healing energy right now. Acturious energy is here. Physical and emotional healing is taking place in your life right now. So God, your divine team is healing your heart, your emotions right now. Okay, love, I'll get you guys reading in a minute. Yeah, they want you to nourish yourself, take care of yourself, care of yourself needs here. You may be tired from working and tired from taking care of the kids, but they want you to give to yourself, sis. And you are going through a healing energy right now. So, and it may have took a toll on your body, going through a DNA upgrade, and you may feel tired right now, but they want you to just uh, go and give to yourself. Okay, sis? Go give to yourself. It's time to give back to your body, give to your emotions, give back to your heart. Get back to your mental state. Get back to yourself. I've been, I know, I know you've been tired, baby. I see it in the energy. I see it. Like, look, you just, uh, I feel like you are going to be able to. I feel like you're going to, you're going to be able to go to a spa. You're going to be able to relax. You know, I feel like you're going to be able to nourish your body. It's time for rest. They want you to rest. You're tired, baby. It says it. Rest. Please rest this. Yeah, they want you to know that you're not alone. You may be in isolation right now, but your ancestors are saying, look here, baby. They always got your back. You all, they always here for you. You are never alone. All you got to do is call on them and they're going to be there for you. Whenever you want, whenever you need me, I'll be there. Whenever you call me, I'll be there. I'll be around doo -doo -doo -doo. whenever you want me. I'll be there whenever you call me. You know, your answer is saying they'll be there for you. The divine will be there for you. You're going through an activation. That's why you are tired. That's why you feel drained because your ancestors are healing you with this, with this divine energy. They are taking care of you. Your emotions, your physical body, your inner self. That's why you feel tired too. 
Okay, sis. Cause you're you're not only are you doing physical work, but your 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 divine team is also healing you energetically, and that's why they want you to rest and not do so much because it is a lot of work being done to your soul right now. Okay, just to let you know. Yeah, cause you're a child of the cosmos, bitch. What? You ain't no human. The cosmos birthed you, child. Yeah, that way. It says you're good, and I must say that you're right. But I could, could you tell me what? I'm sorry, Larry. I do. I charge for individual readings, Larry. If you would like your energy read, please send your donations to Star Seed One Nine Eight Three, like the rest of the ladies have. I don't mind reading for you at all, sweetheart. I do charge ten dollars and ten cents for seven cards. I'm glad that that message did resonate with you. Okay, love. And like I said, um. If you feel like you are uh, compelled or if you feel like you're drawn to sending that, that donation, I will read that for you. If not, you can always catch me on live. No hard feelings, love. I'll always be here. Remember, these are collective energies. I do charge for individual readings, okay? So let's get, yeah, you're a child of the cosmos with your smart ass. You have the intelligence of the universe inside of you, sis. Yes, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. I think I'm gonna read it. Yeah. The next one is loosening your grip, coping mechanism, density, addictions, let God in. I'm not sure if you dealt with addictions in the past. This could be shopping, you know, holding on to a person. This could be, I don't know, drug, I don't know what your addiction was or if someone in your energy, energy had addictions, but I feel like that whatever that was that was holding you on, that you was holding on to it, you released it. And you are able to now. Breathe in the cosmos. They breathing into you, baby, a new life, a new you. They, they, they are really, sis, they are literally breathing in this new energy in you. So you can birth at this new idea. They are literally <sighs> taking out all that old bullshit and bringing and birthing you and breathing in a new um, sense of awareness is what I'm picking up. They getting you getting rid of all those addictions, whatever that shit was, whatever that is was for you. It's over with, period. Hell, I know I had my addictions. Hell, I had several. Shit. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can. And I'm not going to tell my damn bit ain't everybody fucking business. But all you need to know is if you can heal through your addictions, if I can heal through my addictions, you can too. Whether this is money, cars, clothes, hoes, or sex. Okay? Or drugs. Okay? Or people. Okay? So, that's your energy. Sis. Let me get one more card. I want to get one more deck. We're going to end it. This is from the 144,000 deck. I already know you are part of the 144,000. The card said it itself. Yeah, your third eye is awakening. Or your third eye is awakened. They underestimated. Your enemies underestimated you. Yeah, you're a motherfucking star seed, bitch. What'd I tell you? I love you too, Lisa. Your enemies. What about these enemies? A fallen earth angel tried to get them discredit you. Who cares? A fallen angel. Could be an earth sign. What else about them? Your ancestors. Yeah, you're part of the ancient Egyptian bloodline here. Yeah, they don't have they don't have the gift of courage here, your enemies. They scared, they they, they yeah, because your ancestors coming through and wreck and 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 clearing the motherfucking house out. They scared little witches, they scared. Oh, who what, what they doing now? Who they're shaking in their knees now. They're shaking in their knees now. They're shaking in their knees now. They don't know which way to go now. Yeah. It's your time to shine because you're a God's ambassador. Period. That's your energy, sis. Thank you for letting me read for you. I'm sorry, Lisa. This was a private reading. This was an individual reading. Not everybody's situation, but somebody's situation. Well, this is a sister situation. Okay. It says, try booking on your website for private session. It says unavailable. Can you advise? Okay, so what I'll do is, because it's probably got me on my day off, that the day that you try to book. So... Tell me the day, and I'm a, and I can I'm gonna pencil you in, okay? Cause I work around my days off. I will check my cash app in a minute, baby. I just finished doing the reading, okay? 
For anybody, I'm going to tell you this one more time. Y'all got to have patience dealing with me, Chad. I'm going to be all the way real with y'all. Because I take time. Y'all got to have patience. I just did a reading. Good. <laughs> Give me a second since I'm coming. I just got the pen in my hand. <laughs> Sis, do you know the date and the time? Or do you just want to send me a message on TikTok? And I could just and I and I'll go ahead and work, work that day in. It's it's because my day my day is off that day, but I do work on my days off. I just have it like that for a reason. For 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 reasons. Okay, we're gonna do tomorrow because my energy because I gotta do my other job today. I gotta do my other platform. So we're gonna do tomorrow. We, let's go to get your appointment down now. What time? Okay, so I gotta do my lesson. I gotta do my chakra lesson at eleven forty five. That's gonna last about an hour. From when I teach Sharon. And so let's say from 1145 to 1245. Let's say 115. Do you want to do 115? Or do you want to do an earlier session before I start that school session? I'm coming, guys. I'm just trying to get the appointment down real quick. For perfectly flawed. I do work around my days off too, guys. If you do try to book, always reach out to me. 115 works. Okay, let's get you down for 115 p.m. This is Eastern my time, okay? I'll call you Eastern 115 my time. And you let me know what kind of reading you want. Yep, you just cash out. That's it. I accept all payments on cash app, even on my platform. You just cash out. And I always ask people, if you want to cash out an hour before the services start, that's fine. Or 30 minutes before the services start, please just make sure the cash app is there before we start the services. But I got you. Yep. I got you. Now I got you in my, in my, in my book now. So I will be making, putting you in my calendar for tomorrow. Thank you for booking with me, sis. Okay, and donation. Yep. What you mean? Okay, and donation. Give me, help me, help me clarify that. You got me. Okay, 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 okay. Got you. Thank you. Yeah, I do donations, and everything is ran through either. Anybody who want to know how to send payments to me, it's either through Cash App, Zelle, or through um, Venmo. Those are the three options I use, but I mainly use Cash App because that's where people. Well, mainly of my clients send money to, so. But I do accept for all three platforms, paying platforms, okay? So, we got, we got perfect. Oh, perfectly. Do you want to do um, Duo or do you want to do Facebook Messenger? Because we can do either or. You can, we can do Duo over the phone and I give you my phone number. Or we can do Facebook. Under my um, messenger, where we can do a face, uh, what you call a, vi a video call, and I give you my Facebook name, which is Rashun, R A S H U N. Let me see who all sent the donation. Oh, Sharon, was there something else in your spiritual message that you needed to know? Was there something else that you needed me to look into? Facebook is good. Okay. Then you'll find me on Facebook. When you find me, send me a message so I know it's you. And I can go ahead and uh, maybe we could add each other as friends or whatever. So I can have you know. So I can have you um, ready for tomorrow. Facebook is good. And it's R-A-S-H-U-N. R-A-S-H-U-N. Christina. Christina, I got you for 1010. I think I'm going to do one more. Sharon, hold up. Something's telling me to go one more call for you, Sharon. Yeah. They want you to go with the flow right now, Sharon. Let go. It says let go cl cleansing and receiving. Just go with the flow right now. Let me get one more call for Sharon and we're going to close it out. Just feel like I had to pull this deck out one more time. Yeah. You got a divine masculine that's coming towards you. And they want you to go with the flow with that situation. And you are being divinely guided with this. You are being divinely guided with uh, your angelic assistance. Okay, love? They are here to support you, to guide you, and to lead you to the right way. 
Yes, they want you to follow the voice that you hear within. And you are setting your sights higher. Perspective, ego energy. So I feel like that you're going to be setting your, your perspectives higher. Or you need to. But I feel like you are, sis, Sharon. I feel like that you're going to be listening to your inner voice. That's that, that inner man that be talking to you. Listen to that first vo voice, that first instinct about this divine masculine. I want the, they want you to pay attention to the voices that you hear. To the divine knowledge that you're going to get. The, into the, the nudges that you're going to receive about a masculine. And they do want you to go with the flow. I'm just letting you know, sis. They do want you to go with the flow. And your ancestors are insisting you right now. They are assisting you with angelic assistance. Whew. That was a lot of energy. Thank you, guys. Let's see. That was that was for Sharon. Now let's get to Christia. Chris Christia. Did I say that name right? Christina? Make sure I said your name right. Christina. So now we're in Christina energy. Did anybody else send a donation through Zelle or Venmo? Do I need to check my other uh, accounts? Before I end out this live session, I am going to be ending it if no one else has sent a donation after Christina. Christina, give me one second. I got to use the restroom for a second, okay? Just give me one second. Somebody said yes. Hold up, I'm making go ahead. I can hold it. Me too. Did you send it? Yes. I the only donation I see is Christina, and unless somebody sent it under Venmo. You too, yes, me too. Okay. Alright, let me go pee pee. jacket on I got chili it says I didn't get all your for this I have oh 980 312 7821 I don't mind giving out my number this is a business this is how I conduct my business I need y'all to get in contact with me through all forms and fashions that I have if you need to get in contact with me. Okay? All right, Christina, I'm ready for you, baby. Spirit message. Oh, the message that I just had, the download I just received is, be careful when y'all get y'all readings from certain um, readers. 
You have certain tarot card readers that read that 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 taps into their dark um I want to say the demonic ancestors confirmation. I'll tell y'all this one more time. Be careful who you get your reading from. Everybody don't read from the light. I'm going to just leave it right there. Be careful. Once again, who you get your energy, energetic readings from. Everybody does not read from the light. You have dark entities out here and you have light entities. Make sure you do your research on your reader. Make sure that you understand what purpose your reader is, is, is trying to... Um, what intentions your reader is having or, 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 or is what, what type of business or what, what, are, what are their intentions behind their readings? Okay. Cause there are some false ass readers out here. There's some demonic ass, wicked ass witches, dark ass witches. I'm not talking about the good witches. I'm talking about the ones who manipulate energy. Okay. I just want y'all don't be, don't fall for Someone who's using dark energies in your reading. What's up? What's up, Sid? What's up, baby? So that's the message I had when I went to the bathroom is be mindful, be careful of. And I'm going to just show you through the cards. I can show you better than I can tell you. Um, uh, Christina, let me know when you back, baby. You already know, Sid, Sid. But like I said, you got you got tarot card readers here on TikTok, outside of TikTok, you know, and your family, friends, whatever. Be careful. You're going to know a light worker from a dark worker, period. Use your discernment. You're going to know the difference, though. But I'm just letting you know. Be mindful who you let read your energy. Be mindful who you get your advice from. Be mindful what spirits you are entangling in. Be mindful... That you deal with a herbalist, a healer. That's who I am. Be mindful. Because people out here, because you got people out here that's wanting to put a hex on you. You see what I'm saying? You got readers who are jealous of your energy, who don't like you, and who's going to purposely mislead you. Thank you, Queen uh, Bree. Thank you, Queen Bree. They don't, cause they don't want you to have this for this wish fulfillment. So you got witches who's jealous, who's envious, who can't stand your light, and you going for advice, right? You going for advice, and these motherfuckers sitting around here telling you some bullshit, talking about you gonna fall, fail when you ain't gonna fail. They ass gonna fail, but they ain't want you to get this abundance. So be mindful and be careful of these false ass spiritualists, these false ass fake ass tarot card readers. These fake ass, faux fo ass religious leaders, be mindful who you get your advice from because people ain't got your best interest, period. And we're going to expose them because they don't want you to have a rebirth. They don't want you to goddamn, they want to bring death to you, baby. Yeah. This is a white witch. This is, I ain't mean to say white witch, but man, it must be a white witch. I don't know a winter witch. I don't know who the fuck she is. Somebody could be an Aquarius energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius. They didn't want you to have no fertility. They didn't want you to birth anything out, even with your masculine. Somebody lied to you. They wanted to bring death to you. They like to put the book of spell on spell. The, the book of spell. The, 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 ooh, I can't even get the fucking word out. What's your name? Rashun? Yeah. They, they, they use the book of shadows on you. What I tell you? I, told, I ain't even have to look at the cards. I told you I don't need no motherfucking cards. I was sitting on the toilet, y'all. I was just sitting up there peeing. Look, and it came to me. That's how my downloads come. You trying to send through Zelle? 980-312-7821. Yeah. Yeah. These motherfuckers work with dark ass spirits. Yeah. And look at it. Trying to put that damn death spell on you. These individuals. Yeah. Trying to put a hex on you, child, and on your union. Because they jealous of you. These women, you don't even know these people. But because they see how bright your future is because they're haters. Because they're spiritual haters. They want to stop your abundance. They try to cloak their energy to make it seem like that they, oh, love and light. I love you. You're the best. 
I'm here to heal you. The angels told me, but all around, they was they've been casting spells behind your back because they're jealous and envious of you. Only the only thing that they want is your money and give you bad advice. Yeah, your ancestors protected you from these individuals. Somebody, yeah, they 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 wanted they didn't want you to have this new love life here. They wanted to keep your masculine stuck. Yeah, they was calling on goddamn dark ass spirits and shit. But their intentions has been reversed. Period. On you, divine feminine. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna get in Christina energy and we're gonna end this. It is what it is. I'm gonna get out of here and get them get on this platform. My other platform. I don't think anybody else sent the donation. I'm just trying to get in while I fit in it. It says, yeah, because I heard through the grapevine was telling me they slipping out and said that the woman messing. Yeah. Keller, no, but I need prayer. Prayer is already sent to you, baby. All you got to do is pray for yourself, baby. God got you. Hit them knees. Yeah, you can get a reading, Queen um, uh, Bree. You can get a re reading. I'm just on here until like the last person choose until someone doesn't want to um uh want a reading. I sit the Zell. Okay, Kesa. Let me get y'all names down. Y'all have to let me know. I'm gonna check my Zell in just a second. Kesa. Queen, let me know, um, Queen, when you send that donation. I'm going to put your name in the book of blessings and donations. My ears is ringing. Angels are here. Queen. Yes, for seven cards, it's, I mean, for ten cards, it's $10.10. I don't do one card readings, baby. That is a no-no over here. Nope. I'm going to tell you, I, I got to say that right out loud. Nope. <laughs> you, unless you want to pay $10.10 for one card you can get that let me check my Zelle I think I just checked my email for that I could do one card readings but it'll be $10.10 I don't do no, no one card energy no 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 my, my abilities and my gifts and my talents are too strong just to be pulling on one card. I'm not going to do that. Show me. Show me uh, how, sis. Okay. You need all. I got you, sis. Give me one second. Let me get this down real quick. So I got for Casey, for Cassandra, I got your $11. I will be getting your reading next, too. After Christina, I will get Kesa. That's the only one I got from Zale. And then Queen, whatever you get it. So this will be next. All right, Christina, let me get your message, baby. I'm sorry. Okay. So, sis. Okay. So, sis. <laughs> if you want an overall reading. Well, if you want. I'll, I'll do this for you. Because I normally don't do my $22 readings online. But say, for instance, if you want like a four deck real quick. You will send $22.22 for four decks. To cash out, and I'll read all four of, the, four of those decks for you. Queen. Okay, let me look at your name, Queen. Let me go to my cash app because I didn't check my cash app yet. Okay, I got yours now, Queen. I, I see it came through. All right. So we got... We're going to do Christina... Kesa and then Queen for third. But since since you you've been on here for a minute for me, Cynthia, I will do another twenty two twenty two before I lead out. That will be my last reading though. If you do decide to cash out that twenty two twenty two, I will give you a four deck and we will do a love, a career, a divine higher self message and messages from source. Okay, so it'll be messages from your higher self. Messages from the divine, love messages, and career, and one more. So you get four decks for 22-22, and I'll do that for you online before I end. That will be my last one, because that's going to pull all my energy out. 
Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. I'm glad that you're here. So let me go ahead and get into this energy. Sorry, Christina. I'm sorry I took so long. <laughs> Running a business, girl. I'm sorry, Christina. I'm waiting for you to come up now. I'm sorry. I just, you know, had to get all these messages out. Running the business is not easy, y'all. Trying to get everything done and taken care of. <laughs> Christina, and let me know. Oh, you said you wanted, um. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you so much. I... <laughs> it's not, man. They don't understand. People don't understand, man. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. Christina. There you go, baby. Okay, there we go, baby. Let's go ahead and get into Christina. And you want a spirit messages, right? Let's get into your spirit messages. What is it I want you to know right now? Who reclaim your power. You're reclaiming your power back. You got stability coming into your life. 444. Yeah. Use your mind wisely. They want you to use your mind wisely as you are claiming your power back. Let's get to your, yeah, because you're going through a butterfly stage. Transformation, baby. You're going through a metamorphosis. You are growing. You are regrow. You are regrowing. You are re-earthing. You are evolving yourself here, my love. Yes, antelope spirit. Life is going to speed up for you. The divine is about to come through and speed the life up for you. You ain't going to see this shit happening. What the hell they got going on for you, sis? Let's tap in. They finna speed something up for you, sis. What the hell they finna do for you, Christina? What you done did? Because the, the two represents God, represents the universe, your ancestors, your divine team, you and union. It's about to speed up, child. And they said, use your mind wisely now. You done claimed your power back. You going through this transformation, baby. What's the next message? Stuff messages. There we go. Yes. You see the bigger picture now. Bring a, a gentle touch to whatever that you're trying to manifest here. Be soft. Be gentle. Be kind with it. So you can bring in more um, prosperity. More abundance. Yes. Be generous with yourself. Be kind. Be nice to yourself. The way of the world may feel like it's on your shoulders. It's about to be released, though. Okay, I need the Zell, baby. I have, uh, I have it on my phone. Okay, baby. I appreciate you seeing it. Thank you. But, yeah, I feel like because you had so much on your shoulders, sis. You had so much drama you was dealing with. You had so much you had to take care of that... You could be a little, uh, you could be a little standoffish right now, but I can, I can completely understand that. You, I feel like you need time to wusa, to relax, to heal, to chill, to let this cycle, you know, simmer over. I feel like you are, and once it simmer over, you're gonna bring a gentle touch towards your your career, your job, or the individuals that are around you. I feel like that you're just going through the the thick of it. As you are releasing this old past life, you're going to be able to feel this relief, this shoulder pain come off of you. You, you take on too many people problems and you, and, and you don't take care of yourself enough. And God wants you to say, no, it's time for you to cut those people off. Time for you to set your boundaries. And time, thank you so much, Courtney. And time for you to take back your power, your resilience. And, and it's not being nasty. You're not being mean, but it's time for you. It's this time is only for you and you only. And I feel like once you tap into that me time, that you time, you're going to be able to bring out that feminine energy that the divine want to see that you are this nice, loving and caring queen that you are. You're more than just this. Yeah, motherfucker. I, you know, you more than just that. You are loving. You are caring. You are compassionate. You are love. Period. Thank you so much, Steve. Yes, and your life is a canvas. So move as a canvas. Paint your life 
to where you want it to be. Your life ain't for everybody else's life. You ain't here to live for nobody else. You ain't here to goddamn dictate your life for nobody else. I don't care if they don't like what you do. It ain't their problem. It ain't their business. It's your life. It's mine. I want it. I'ma get it. It's mine. And can't nobody tell you how to live your life. And if they can't get with it, tell them they can get ran over on this magical school bus. The magical school bus that either you can get on or get left behind. Now it's time for you to paint the brush how you want to see yourself. How you want to live your life. How you want to become the best version of yourself because it's not too late. But they trying to hold you down though. They trying to hold you down making, oh, you got to do this for me. You got to do that for me. No, you don't. You walk away from them individuals and you claim your motherfucking power back. And you ain't got to be nasty with it. You could be cool and collective and be like, I can't help you. You need to find somebody else to do that. And be stern with it and let it go. Now it's time to stop saying yes and, and start to say no. What's the next energy? You're not alone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. I knew it. I knew you was in your north node. I fucking knew it. Because you're in your north node and these people don't like it. But guess what? That's their problem. Uh -huh, stick a fork in it. It's done. Yeah, I know how I am. And they, and they go, and, and you know what? They gonna continue to hate. They, they ain't gonna be the only ones that's gonna hate on you, sis. It's gonna be other individuals that's gonna hate on you too, Chad. And guess what? Hate, hate, hate. Give me 50 more. Period. That's your spiritual message energy. Oh, let me get the 144,000 and we're gonna end it. Yeah, you got ancient bloodline here, baby. And you're a part of a royalty bloodline. Period. The fuck? Yeah, ancient. You got old souls here, child. Huh? Oh, they came up against a divine one and they ain't know, did they? They ain't know you was divine like that, did they? You going through a rebirth right now, child. Yeah, save your space from these enemies or people that, that, that you have had around you. Somebody that's around you don't need to be around you. That's why they say save your space. You are an empath and you will be receiving a lucid dream. You are the black sheep of the family. You are meant to break generational curses. Yeah, you have a big mission on Planet Kai. Yeah, your name holds power. Yeah, you are highly ranked. And these religious people, Jesus don't fuck with them. Oops. Did I just expose your fake ass family members or friends or co-workers? Yeah, your angels are protecting you right now. Who does this have fake ass hire for energy? Anyway, I'm tapping out. I'm done. Cassandra, your energy is next. What kind of reading did you want, Cassandra? Hey, Jules. Thank you for coming through. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing one more energy because my energy is draining. I can feel it and I'm getting the fuck up out of here. After I do your energy scent, I'm out because my energy is done, done. I feel it. It's done. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. You're welcome, Christina. Yes, breaking them family curses. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Luna. Yeah, that shit draining on me like a mother. I'm like, oh, shit, there it go. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a cabbage break. I need to get down. Let me get my face right. Take a... Ah! Let me get them, get it right. And my energy. I'll be sure to keep in contact. Thank you so much, um, Cassandra, C Christina. You can also reach me on creativeilluminations.net. I can't wait to meet you too, Steve. Creative, you can always reach me on creativeilluminations.net. I need a Zale, baby. Are you doing Zale? Or Cynthia, we can wait and we can do it later. Because my energy motherfucking got them stuck. Can you use my, num my number? 980-312-7821. I normally do Zell through my phone number. I forgot what the fucking email I didn't use for it. I think, yeah. I be giving out my number. They be, they be sending it through my phone number. And I catch it through the email. It should be under my name. I think it should be under Sharina Brown. Let me get, um, hold up, uh, 
Kesa, Cassandra. Hold on, y'all. I got to get dang, get my energy right. Give me one second. Shit, I'm on a wing and a prayer right now. <laughs> Where it go? Y'all give me one second. I did good. Did I do good? Yeah, you did good. I got that Kendrick Lamar song. What's that? That alcohol. Somebody draining, draining an alcohol. What's the, how the alcohol song go? 980-312-7821. What's that? Pull up. Drink. Drink. What's that song? Somebody could have been, I know how the song, I can't think of the lyrics of the song by Kendrick Lamar, but it's a pull up, drink, drink. Somebody could have a drinking problem, but somebody listened to their friends. You know, in that skit, when Kendrick Lamar, they went by and they did, you know what they did. I can't say it because I don't want to get blocked on, on social media, but there was a masculine that was trying to Make himself look good in front of friends. This masculine has a drinking problem. And this masculine like, yo, did I do good? Did I, did I take that person out? Somebody was trying to take you out? Queen, can you see my comment? No, Queen, what did you say? Oh, I sent my comment on Cash App. Can you still do my reading? If not. Oh, I, oh first of all, I don't like to be rushed. And I'll send your money back to you, Queen. Because when I get my downloads, when Devon talked to me before I talked to anybody else, I, I'll be so quick to see your, I can send this money right back to you, baby. It's no problem. But one thing one person will not do is break in between my downloads. Okay. Okay. I'm about to say like, yeah, I got you. I, yeah, I got your donation. Queen. I'm just being all the way real with y'all. When I get in my downloads, though, like the Devon come before any of y'all, honestly, I'm going to be all the way real with y'all. But when the Devon put it on my head, I got to let it out. All right. And Queen, did you send it through Cash App? Let me make sure. Because I got Queen Bree. Okay. Yeah, I got it. You must didn't hear me when I said I was going to get you next. Okay. So let's go. Let's get it. Y'all know I love y'all. Shit, I can talk for hours. I am a motherfucking professor. I can talk for hours. That shit don't be going no damn well. I got you, baby. I got you. I promise you. I promise. I, but it be some people on here be goddamn like, hurry up. No, I ain't finna hurry up. Shit, this ain't the reader for you then, my G. Because I like everybody to get the messages that they need. I take consideration and very detailed readings for my people. Anyway, we finna get to this message. I just did Christina. Then I said Kesa. Then I got you, Queen. That's what it was. Kesa, Kesa was next and Queen U was number three because Kesa paid before you. So Cassandra and then you, Queen. So let me get Cassandra. Where you at, Cassandra? I got y'all, man. I promise you. I promise you I do. And y'all going, I'm going I'm to give, give you more than what you think. These particular readings is $10 and 10 cents for seven cards. But Raleigh, I'm about to get up out of here because my energy is on low, low. Unless my answer, let me make sure. Did y'all want me to accept more? No, I already know they're going to say no because my energy done. I already know. Yeah, they say hell fucking no. They don't want me to do no more. They say y'all want to get them come book it or I'll be back online. Come book with me. And if you can't book, that means I'm off for the day. So try the next day. Okay. Book with me on my website, y'all. But I can't, I can't just give out all my energy like that. I can't. I really can't. Okay? Mine. You, you already sent yours, Cynthia. Let me go ahead and get Casey. Cassandra, where you at, Cassandra? Casey? I'm finna get through these readings, y'all. Let's go. Oh, and when you do... Okay, there you go, baby. So, when you guys do buy through the website, you get free member points and free... Um, 
You get free member points. Those free member points go to free services, half off services, um, uh, free readings, more time added to your readings, depending on how much, depending on how much points you have. I will give you guys a list of how you can reclaim your points, but that's only when you buy from the website, okay? So when you buy from the website, you get free member points. Those free member points turn into free readings, half off readings, more onto, onto your reading sessions, half off Reiki practitioner services, half off spell breakage services, and anything else I have. So I do give back uh, to my loyal, my loyal clients. So... If you are interested, and when you sign up for the website, it's free. When you subscribe, it's free. Everything is free unless you got, you know, you get the service, okay? So don't miss out on the, that loyalty program. Okay. Hey, sexy cat. Okay, Kesa. Did you want a spiritual message or did you want a um love reading? At the Kesa is queen. Spiritual. Okay. So let's see what's going on with your spiritual messages. Hold up. Let me get that card out of there. What's going on with the spiritual messages? You got sacred gratitude, reverent appreciation and prayer. So you are someone who prays a lot. And you show gratitude. You could be a tree hugger. Sexy cat, if you need your energy read, please um, book with me at creativeilluminations.net, creativeilluminations.net. And once you book with me, we will continue. Or if you need to know how to book with me, I will most definitely help you um, with your particular reading. But I am done. After I read for Cynthia, I am done for today. Okay? Yes, connect with your emotions. They want you to connect with your emotions right now, sis. Water sign energy. You got water in your placements. Let me get one more energy. Yeah, yeah, like I said, deep emotions. You need to connect with your emotions and let go of residual resentment that's been sent to you or that's in your energy. It's time to be grateful and thank the Most High, if you haven't already, for your blessings that's coming towards you. Be grateful for the lessons. Be grateful for the th this opportunity that's about to come to you. 50 is here. I got, I got 15 breaking down to 6. You may want to look up that number 6. And I feel like that you're going to be connecting with your emotions more in the near future. Let's get to the next deck. Let's get an animal message deck. So you're connecting with your emotions. You are, uh, yeah, because you were dealing with past life influences. So that person possibly had you in your feels and you need to let that go so you can get more in tune with your, your, the lighter side of yourself is what I'm picking up. This person ran you through the rugger. It's what I'm picking up. Yeah. You're going to be strutting your shit like it ain't nothing. Peacock energy. Yeah. Trust in the divine mysteries. In the divine mysteries. They want you to start to lay. Set, they want you to lay out uh, solid foundations. Six sixes here. So you are dealing with a melanated person or you could be melanated. Is what I'm picking up. You are also connected with the Anaki tribe. They also represent six, six, six. Yeah, I feel like that there is an individual that wants to be loyal to you. 19, break it down to uh, 20. There's a union coming towards you. There is an individual that will be loyal to you. Whoever this new connection is, it is being divinely guided and it will be at peace. Okay, let's get some other messages to round this up for tonight. I got to get my ass on the road. I gotta go. Alright. Yes. They want you to take care of yourself, nourish your body, drink more water, eat more healthier, go exercise, whatever that is for self-care, self-love. They want you to give back to yourself just as much as you was given to everybody else. You are going through a deep, deep cellular healing right now. So you are being, um, you are going through a physical and a, a emotional upgrade right now, and your angels and ancestors are assisting you along the way. They are, you are releasing any um, <coughs> addictions that was placed in your life, whether this was sexual, drugs, alcohol, whatever that addiction is. I don't care what it is. 
Honestly, as long as you healed from that addiction, you good to go in my book. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is or what you done did. It's about how you have surpassed that situation. If it's not you, it's your masculine, okay? Your life is a canvas. They want you to move and make your own artwork. Don't wait on anyone to make life for you. Make life for yourself. Breathe life into your own artwork, okay? The next message I have to end out your spiritual message is way of the world is not your problem. It's not your issue. It's not yours to carry or to hold on to. Let that shit go and give to yourself, sis, and claim your motherfucking independence. 13, breaking down to four. That's your energy, sis. Thank you for letting me read for you. Let's get to another reading. Let me get to Queen. Queen, bring you up next. Queen, what kind of reading did you want, Queen? I think it was spiritual. Oh, I forgot to do the 144,000. Hold on, Bree. Kaisa. Yeah, you're connected to your Atlanteans bloodline here. Yeah, you could be seeing synchronistic numbers like 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 11, 11. And you are being divinely protected by your angels right now from a tarot card reader. I told you it was a fake ass tarot card reader out here. I told y'all to be careful. Be careful, be mindful. But you're protected, but your angels and your ancestors are protecting you from this fake ass tarot card reader. I don't know if you got a tarot card reading done by her or somebody pulling on your energy, but you protected though. Silly motherfuckers. And I got to charge my damn phone up. Let me get one more energy. Let me get more. Yeah, you're the black sheep of the family, baby. Yeah, and you got a big mission on earth, on planet Kai. Yeah, don't worry. Your powers and yeah, you got psychic powers and clairvoyance here. They try to fuck up your goddamn, your, your abilities here. Yeah, but yeah, they try to bring judgment for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Love, but spiritual is fine. Yes, you did say that. Look. Look at this shit. They want a judgment day for you, honey. And that shit been, yeah, somebody who got Lemurian blood here. A witch. A dark witch. That's a tarot card reader. Somebody who, who, who is a part of a darker cult. Yeah, that bitch going through trauma. That bitch suffered from trauma. She did that spell work on you. You know we're going to tap in. I'm just saying, though. Yeah, you about to receive lucid dreams here. You an empath. Save your space. You going through a rebirth from that tarot card reader? Yeah, you got ancient blood in you, child. That's your message. Yes. Shoulder. These people get on my nerves. <laughs> Let's get to queen. Let's get to your energy, queen. What kind of reading did you want, queen? Queen. Shit, I ain't gonna be able to go. No, I'm gonna charge my damn phone up before I can go on my goddamn trips. That was Kesa reading, baby. I'm about to do your energy now, queen. That was Kesa energy. I'm about to do your energy now, queen. Okay. Okay. Some telling me to switch up the deck a little bit. Hold on. I want to switch it up. We're going to switch up these messages a little bit, okay? Some telling me to go towards my twin flame soulmate deck, so I'm going to go towards it. We're going to switch it up a little bit, okay? I know, right? Okay, you was. Okay, sis. Y'all know we each other reflection. Y'all know we on we 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 got similar situations, right? But we on totally two different time frame time frames. But we feel each other though because we don't went through these same similar situations. Yes, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, that's the reason. Look, we all have the same or particular or something significant about these situations that bring us together, right? But we just on totally different time frames, time zones. Yep, so you know it. I love your spirit. I love you too. I love you. Oh, he's becoming a single male. 
He's living a single, single life. So I'm glad I did bring this deck out. We're going to change up the energy a little bit, all right? So she feel rejected because he, she thought these hitting the titches was going to work. Poor little boo boo thought it was going to work and it didn't work. It didn't work. The little tricks didn't work this time. Somebody could talk like that. Oh, what the fuck made me talk like that? I don't know how to talk like that. You the black sheep too. I already know, sis. I know you are. Yes, yeah, it's a it's a it's a ending. And this is your twin flame. This is your twin flame. She thought it was her twin flame. But that's your twin flame, Chad. Oops. And he said, bitch. I don't want you. Look, queen. That's your masculine. He ended it with that bra. I'm just saying though. I ain't done with you yet. Oh shit. Let me get to the next day. Hold up. Oh shit. My person. Yep. You got uh, endless of miracles that's coming your way. You're connected to the Egyptian bloodline here. Yeah, magic works through you. So you're a magical being. You can get dang. Period. Yeah. You a leader. You are supposed to take the lead. You and your master are not supposed to be leaders. To lead the way, to show the way, to cultivate the way. Yeah. Love is all around you right now. Don't worry about that. Don't even worry about the bullshit. Yeah. Watch it says watch and wait as this manifestation come and um uh be what I want to say abundant in your life. You're finna see this manifestation play out in your life. Just watch and wait. It's on its way. It's what they're saying. Yeah, and it's gonna feel like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Turkey Day, it says give it with gratitude and grace. So they saying once this month, when you get this shit, don't forget to say thank you. <laughs> I know you will though, sis. But 16, break it down to 1. This situation has been completed. Y'all know 7 represents connections. But you're going to be grateful and you're going to be thankful for this new beginning. It's going to feel like Christmas. It's going to feel like a holiday. You feel me? This new beginning that's coming towards you. Yeah, embrace the in-between. Em embrace, you know, not knowing and knowing. That makes sense, sis? Like embrace, like you know you're going to get this new beginning. But you know you got the... Finish closing out that old cycle. So it's like you like, yeah, you're going back and forth. Woo, woo, woo. Like that, right? So what we're going to do is stay in the middle and just go like that, right? And just, just waffle just, just a little bit. Let God, just let God guide you. Like, boom, boom. Okay, let's get that done. Boom. All right, we got that done. Let's get this done. Boom. All right, so divine women do that, right? Let's do this. Boom. That's how you go with the flow. Boom. It's ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. Don't be like, oh, oh, what is he doing over here? No, he must be calling me. No, what are you doing? Don't do none of that shit. That's that boom, 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 boom. You don't want to do none of that shit. Nah. Let, let that shit go. Embrace the in-between. What's the next message? I want to do one more. And we're going to end it. That's what's going on, too. I already know, sis. I feel it. Yeah. You're shedding old skin and bring, they want you to bring your ideas to life. It's time to bring that, that, whatever that idea is, bring it to life. And it's time to let go of the past. Time, stop controlling the past and be like, now I'm done with you. It's over with. Look, I know it's not, it's not easy to let go of somebody you love. It's not easy to let go of a thing that you put your emotions and feelings into. It's not easy to be like, oh, I just want to make it work. And it's not giving you the, the, the reciprocity that you need. So if it's not giving you the reciprocity that you need, then guess what? You got to let it go. And baby, I'm here to cry with you. I cried this morning. I cry. We cry. They cry. We'll cry that shit out. Period. Because that's a form of releasing. But in order for you to get these blessings, these new ideas, these new, this new, and, 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 uh, and, and you know what I'm saying, new adventure, then release. Release the heartache, release the trauma. 
You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. And I'ma tell everybody. Everybody. Yeah, they can't break your motherfucking soul, period. Yes. That's your energy, sis. Thank you for letting me read for you. That went to a whole nother level, though. Shit. I told y'all. I don't know how the fucking cards gonna be read when you send a donation. It's just whatever the fuck the spirit is at the time. Alright? So you get what you get. Because you're going to get what you should get each and every time you come over here to creativeilluminations.net. Cynthia is the last one. Thank you, queen, for letting me read for you. All right. And we're going to end it out. Y'all already know, Chad. Let me get these cards up real quick. Sister, hey, sis, how about this? Can I give you my phone number? Because my energy is all the way down, and I really need to take a break. Can I do your message, like, on what I, that's off of live? Is that okay? I really need to recharge my energy. Oh, thank you, Sister. All right, and you know, oh my God, that we're going we gonna to bust it wide open for you. We're going to bust it, bust it, bust it wide open. Let's do tomorrow. Do you want to do tomorrow about 2 o'clock? How does that sound? 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon? Are you available? Yeah, let's do it. So I got you down sent. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you my number again, 2 p.m. You are the best. And my number is 980-312-7821, 980-312-7821. I love you too, loud and divine. Y'all just don't know. I'll be pushing myself, but I needed this break, though, because my phone on 20% already. And my energy is drained all the way out. Then now, right, perfect. <laughs> yep, got it. Thank you, baby. Yep, it is perfect. That worked just on time. 2 p.m., Cynthia tomorrow. You got my number, 980-312-7821. And I'll get you tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I got perfectly. I got you at 115 tomorrow. And I got Sharon, I got you for our chakra learning lesson. I got you at 11.45 tomorrow. It's going to be a busy day tomorrow. Okay, thank you for the 22. And, you know, we most definitely will be picking up uh, for your reading tomorrow, sis. I love you. I thank you and I appreciate your donations. For everyone who has sent a donation, a like, a share, a subscribe, Anyone who has commented, anyone who's been sending me back my energy, positive energies, thank you. Uh. I just got your message. Sis, Misty, I got your message. Thank you. For anyone, and that was confirmation I just burped. <laughs> so I am grateful for you guys. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for believing in my vision, in our vision. It's not my vision. It's the most high vision. It's our vision. It's all of our vision. Thank you guys for uh, supporting me. And if you would like to watch more videos of what I do, please come over to the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. The Hard Knock Life of Tarot. For now, guys, I am done. I love you too, sister. I love you. Mwah. Glitter fingers. May the force always be with us. Y'all already know we are connected always to the most high. We don't deal with no negative energies around here, but we will cast those demons to hell. I'll see you guys later. Peace be.